something that affects you, you know, uh, when the digital era um, that has been brought about by the tech revolution. And we want to know how to best make the most out of this. So we're talking about the digital and social media marketing. So if you're in this space, whether you are employed or not, if you have your own thing going, how do you make the most out of the digital and social media space? We have great experts who are going to um, talk to us on this. Uh, let me introduce them. On my right, I have, um, uh, is it Ratich? Kipto, sorry. Benson, Kipto, and Abel. Right. Uh, let me allow you to introduce yourself better. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, guys. Uh, my name is Betson Kipto from Shift Tech Africa and uh, Business Development. Mm -hmm. Okay. From Shift Tech Africa, uh, how are you? Great people. Good morning. My name is Abel Nikano Masete, Head of Marketing, Shift Tech Africa, a company that has been operation in the last four years. It was launched in 2021. Mm -hmm. And we have made a number of strides when it comes to digital marketing. And we are happy to be here with you, Stephanie, today. Amazing, amazing. Um, let me just start with what your company dealt with uh, before we get to now uh, delve into what we have because you, are, you have a tech company. Yeah. So let me ask you, wh what is it that you deal with exactly? So Shift Tech Africa is a solution-based company uh, that is largely mm -hmm. incorporates uh, everything to do with social media marketing or digital marketing per se. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of products, seven products to say, uh, that we have created uh, that helps uh, people running different businesses to better sell their services or products in a convenient way. Uh, maybe if to just mention one of the products, uh, we we'll call it uh, Resurface Media, uh, is a tech-oriented uh, platform that helps uh, a business person Mm -hmm. uh, to get in contact with a large number of audience through sharing links. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So uh, you are the right people, I'd say, to, to discuss this topic then. Mm -hmm. So we're in, the, we're in good hands. So um, when you talk about digital and social media marketing, why, why is this important? Uh, let me ask you. Okay. Uh, basing on uh, digital marketing and social media marketing, uh, Kupata rich ya watu ni it's more easier than uh, kugo that in uh, in person. Mm. Yeah, getting uh, because uh, unapata a lot of uh, people made on the online perspective of marketing. Unaingia Facebook, unaingia resurfaced, uh, unaingia Twitter or sorry X. Mm -hmm. Unapata kuna target audience ya watu iko uko. Okay, yeah. so you, you, you have a better chance at reaching more people uh, in the digital space than physically. Say at Kuelenzia, going door to door, telling people, oh, I bet I have this product. It's, it's the online space that, that does that. So let me ask you, Abel, how does the... Um, how, okay, let me, let me just start with what's the difference between the digital media and social media? It's more, 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 more of the same, but... Mm -hmm. Maybe to distinguish it, digital media from traditional media, I believe that is what you're asking. Traditional mm -hmm. media, difference between traditional media and a digital media. Uh, maybe to use an example, uh, when, you, when, you, when you say you use traditional media in advertising a product or a service, uh, it means you'll be generalizing that product or a service. You'll not be tailoring that uh, kind of advert to reach a particular audience. For example, if you, are selling a, you have a showroom and you're selling a car, uh, maybe to use an example, uh, if mm -hmm. you allow me, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, to mention Toyota. So when you advertise Toyota, the person who is the, 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 the person on the other end uh, does not know which, uh, which type of Toyota are you advertising, mm -hmm. the size of the engine, the engine capacity, and also uh, the utilitarian things in it, or rather the interior spacing and the exterior styling. But mm -hmm. when you go to digital uh, marketing, you find that uh, the advert is kind of tailored to match your desired preference. For example, <coughs> if it's a Toyota, you're looking for a, for a, for a Toyota Land Cruiser V8 uh, with an engine capacity of 4.5 liter with such kind of transmission. So that is what the difference between uh, digital media and, and traditional media, whereby traditional is more of generalizi generalizing the content mm -hmm. you're advertising. But for digital media, you are tailor tailoring it to meet a uh, specific or rather a desired preference of a certain buyer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's very insightful. But I, I also understand that there's a 
bit of a diff okay it's still the same family mm -hmm. but i understand that digital media is wider than social media social media is the like facebook instagram um tiktok you know the socials mm -hmm. then digital we have the websites mm -hmm. uh also there and um what else um so i think that's that's the, the a, a bit of the difference between mm -hmm. between the two mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah so i wanted you to just uh bring that out uh in terms of how do you um maximize on this on this if you're in the digital space let's say if you have a website uh how do you make the most of it, out of it if you are a writer if you know you have your company mm -hmm. website how do you bring traction to to that and for those that are operating um content creators who have tiktok pages who have you know different pages that they're making um they want to make money out of how do they ensure that it works for them mm -hmm. okay that's a good question mm -hmm. uh, for social media i believe many people uh, have been posting in social media but just to say posting is not marketing mm. uh, posting is not marketing but for when you come to digital media uh, you find that uh, the kind of content you are creating be it in terms of a vlog or an article uh, it is tailored to meet a certain audience so for example as i used an example of cars uh, if you write an article if you create content and uh, uh, content about cars you will be tailoring it to meet a specific uh, audience or rather to to help convince the audience mm -hmm. why he or she should buy that product so i believe the difference between social media marketing and digital marketing is that in digital marketing you kind of personify uh, the product or service you are advertising but in social media it's kind of just posting mm -hmm. and as i've said posting is not marketing okay yeah there's a difference posting yeah. is not marketing yeah. you want to say something yeah. also uh, in terms of uh, that uh, website mm -hmm. there's something called uh, search engine search engine optimization mm. uh, basically that tells uh, the browser that ukiaka ukiaka kuna nini your search engine optimization in idea your website to gain uh, that traction or to gain the audi to kupata audience pia mm -hmm. yeah, kwa website ya okay, kwa google or chrome okay yeah. so the the search engine optimization how do you use it for someone who's just hearing it for the first time uta ni nini unaweka ndio you know you optimize uh, your website Okay yeah uh, kuna okay kwa uh, sorry um kwa nini kwa development there is something called meta tags mhm mm uh hiyo ndio unatumiaga kwa unatumia you put your descriptions and you put like a uh, same more kama read more mm. about your website and then if some if a user searches for your website mm -hmm. with the, some specific keywords you same kama natafuta kama kitu kama gari si ndio mm -hmm. and i don't know what car I'm, i'm looking for yeah same i give the specifics of that car i don't know the name mhm mm now kwa description ya the website of your company kama not company or of your, your of your business mhm mm kwa description umeka those types of descriptions kwa your web kwa your website so the more the more um sana natafuta hiyo kitu mhm mm uh, unapata kuna hizo suggestions inakuja so unapata you need a website pia. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. So what you're saying is that um the search engine optimization ni kaka zo tags. So if someone let's say um I have a business in uh, in what um tafuta biashara biashara gani naweza kuwa nayo in in cosmetics yeah. you know. So I'd put certain tags um kwa do e optimize uh my page so when someone searches for something then my page would be among the ones that are appearing at the top yeah, is it exactly, that exactly. how it works yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. uh huh all right so in a in a in a letter ju mm. and how do you make sure that to get that those keywords right the tags right so that you know where when do where at the at the very top so if you have a business in cosmetics if you have a business in bakery what 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 words are you supposed to okay how do you get to choose the right tags to use okay yeah uh, mm. i think you before i go back to mm. i think it depends with the profession in unafanya same kama ni cosmetics ndio you mm. use your, your your terminology sana mnatumia under the cosmetic industry kama ni under the media industry pia mnatumia those terminologies ni mnatumia kwa media industries ndio mm. ndio unapata that nini that traction kwa nini all right yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah this as he has explained uh, 
kind of a tagline. The more you use, you frequently use that tagline uh, when posting your products, at a moment you can search. More likely, for example, when you go to your Chrome or Google mm. uh, and you first type the, the letter T, I don't know how your Google looks like, but type T, kuna vitu itakuletea. Uh, meaning yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of su kind of MC. suggesting mm -hmm. yeah. so that is what you call uh, optimizing an seo the more kind that when you incorporate a tagline in a company when you are advertising your business or your product uh when people search for that uh product mm -hmm. through that tagline it mm -hmm. will be optimizing your seo yeah, okay your website, yeah. Yeah. all right so that that's one of the things yeah those are what that is one of the ways to to um, maximize on the digital space through seo yeah what other way can someone um what what ways can uh, someone implement other ways apart from SEO? Yeah, apart from SEO, we, we also have content creation and distribution. For example, uh, content creation, uh, you do understand that the audience in Facebook is very different from the audience in Instagram, Instagram. and different from the audience in X, yes, formerly known as Twitter. Mm -hmm. So once you create a content, you have to tailor it to meet the specific needs of those different type of audiences in uh, the various social media platforms we know. Mm -hmm. So once you have created that content, uh, we go to distribution. Now, for, for example, for us here in Resurface, uh, in Shiftek Africa, mm -hmm. we have a product called Resurface. So okay. Resurface is all about distribution. Once you come in as, a, as, 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 for example, as a business person, or you want to advertise your product or your service, uh, through Resurface Media, you can distribute uh, that product or service to reach a wider audience. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm still trying to get it. Um, how the redistribution happens now? Th if I approach you, mm -hmm. um, if I want my, you know my my product to get to a wider audience, what is it that you do special that makes it get to there? Okay, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. For example, here in Y254. Somebody wants to advertise his or her product in this platform. Mm -hmm. He or she will approach uh, your head of marketing. Yeah, yeah. You, they check the rates. Once the rates are agreed upon, you sign a contract, and his or her product uh, aired on TV. Mm -hmm. For us, uh, you come to Shift Africa. Uh, we take you through how Resurface Media works. Mm -hmm. Once we reach an agreement, uh, through Resurface Media, we do have something called a virtual influences, whereby behind the scenes, there are other hundreds of people will be sharing a link. That product or service you are advertising, mm -hmm. uh, it will be advertised through a link. So those links are shared by people known as virtual influencers. So virtual influencers can be as many as a thousand people. And through sharing that link, uh, other people get to click that link, hence uh, marketing a product or service, hence reaching, creating awareness and reaching a wider target audience. OK. Yeah. Virtual influencers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get that concept. Where do the virtual influencers come from? <laughs> okay. <Crypto. laughs> virtual influencers are people, or yeah, they are people who are uh, more of like real influencers. But sasa, hini, we are not uh, limited to one person, that one influencer. Mm -hmm. There are multiple of people who are sharing that one link or the links of your advertisement. Uh -huh. So these are like an influencer who's on the ground, like someone who's known, but there are many, or is it is tech, the technology? It's not a person no, who's doing... Uh, <laughs> let me come in a little bit. Here's the difference. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, for example, we know who's an influencer, yeah, a yeah. person mm -hmm. who has a large number of following. Following, exactly. Yeah. So if you, as Stephanie, you have a product, for example, have a product called Y254, and you want it to reach a larger audience, exactly. I will go to that influencer to help you. Yeah, reach that market it, post it on their platform, then probably get yeah. traction. Exactly. Right. So, yeah. for example, that influencer, Y, mm -hmm. has 100,000 followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You've approached that person, you've told him or her to help you advertise a product or service. But the thing is, as much as he or she has 100,000 followers on Instagram, it is not a guarantee that 100,000 people will no, view your product or service. Mm -hmm. But for the surface media, uh, how we operate, how our operation is like, is that when you come to us, uh, we'll take your content and distribute it, and we'll have an understanding. For example, we do have something called 5x, 10x, 20x. That is, packages. Uh, yeah, packages, depending on uh, your financial muscle. When you want us to help you reach a target audience, for example, of about 20,000 people, mm. and uh, maybe, let's say, uh, we fall short of that number. You wanted 20,000, but you have only managed 15,000. So for the surface media, you have pocket change. 
the remaining 5,000 that you have not reached, mm -hmm. uh, will give you the we'll credit, you back yeah, to your credit back to your account. It will go back to your wallet, mm -hmm. as opposed to going for an influencer who will charge you a certain amount, but it is not a guarantee he, will, he or she will reach 100K, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get the so, point. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So I'll be able to certify that indeed this thing was clicked to, you know, two by 15,000 people. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So in short, I'm talking about value for money. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Also, in resurface media, there's an analytics tools and it akwambia that kuna this, this certain amount of people have viewed your product. Mm -hmm. This certain amount of people have bought your product. And also, uh, under the surface media, there is an <coughs> automat automated system which uh, calculates the amount of people in your may view your product. Send you. Mm -hmm. I love in a calculate with the amount of money that you paid. Same you paid 500 and then 200 people viewed it. And then it calculate this number of people in your may view times this divided by the, the expected amount of people in your own view. Then the remaining amount of money in your back will be credited, uh, credited mm -hmm. back to your wallet address. Okay. Yeah. All right. That and maybe, Stephanie, before you continue, uh. Uh, maybe the question uh, in your head could be, why should somebody out for resurface media yeah, and not the actual influencer? Mm -hmm. uh, two things. Number one is ease of, uh, ease of reach. We can reach many people at a very fast speed or rate uh, as opposed to the, the actual influencer. And also, number two, as I said, value for money and affordability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is all uh, what Resurface Media it is, is uh, it's all about. about. Yeah. So is Resurface Media um, an online tool that's there or is it under Shift Tech Africa? It's an online tool but under Shift Tech Africa. It's a product of Shift Tech Africa. Oh, it's your product, it's our yeah. product that yeah. you came product. up with. Yeah. Oh, quite interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. So technology is really uh, coming in the space and, and helping everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Almost, you know, when they say technology, nakuja kuchukua kazi ya watu, AI and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Tunafikiria influencers wame, wame pwanea, but <laughs> pia wame kujua. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's quite interesting. Sikla mtu me actually because mm -hmm. you know, kupata tu, unapata tu a place you can leverage it also as an influence on as a same watch to me hippie ni kulia hapa na mm. content creation is all about numbers pia na as a same you know nine numbers na za tumia the e tool ni pata that return of investment yangu uh -huh. una sasa nimetumia hapa obvious kuna kuna monetize content ndio but apart from monetizing content na za kula aje pia mimi from this thing okay. anakuja na tumia surface media yeah. analipa yake I keep the more people the more people visit that product ni the more piana and akulia hapa kando ya okay so even uh, the influencers can make something out of you know this particular innovation yeah. Yeah. it's it's a win-win situation that has been created whereby uh -huh. you as an uh, owner of that product you've come advertised uh -huh. in return umepata your audience ulikuwa natafuta you've created awareness of the product but and also on the on the back end uh, what I've said, uh, these people call virtual influencers. Mm -hmm. Through them sharing those links, the links of your product or service, they also earn some money. Mm -hmm. So as much as we are revolutionizing, revo revolutionizing technology in Kenya, at the same time we are creating job opportunities for people. So the people. virtual yeah, influencers are paid from? Exactly, from through sharing those links. Uh -huh. Paper click. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's yeah. known as paper click. Paper, paper click. click yeah. Ah, yeah. I know paper click. Yeah. It's uh, it's in this format. Uh, it's not a must to create account. I yes, uh, as a virtual influencer, mm -hmm. I have the account. Sindio. Neza kutumia that link or I can share it to Facebook, I can share it to WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So any person when you click that account, it's still as a create account at a peleko direct to the to that uh, page and a view. But the moment I'm a click Already account yangu itakuwa imekuwa credited na some amount. Some amount. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I love that. You know, yeah. you can you, you can make some side money unakuwa tu virtual influencer. Why have I not been a virtual influencer? <laughs> <laughs> now you can be it's one. Not, uh, <laughs> na, <laughs> for your information. Now you can be one. Uh -huh. It's not uh, some kind of referral. It's not a referral program. So ah, So it's just clicking. Yeah. yeah. Just click, yeah. Wow, wonderful. I yeah. mean, the opportunities out here, guys. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. So uh, that's how you... So give us this. Um, maybe you can help us understand this concept yeah. of uh, how social media or digital media works. Mm -hmm. You know, we understand that when many people click on um, your link or people search you, then 
um, social media boosts your post. Let's mm-hmm. say Facebook, when many people search for you, you know, it boosts your post. Even on LinkedIn, mm-hmm. you know, ukita futwa, when people like your post so much, uh, and you know, every time you post, then you're able, it markets you automatically. Mm-hmm. How, how does that work? Uh, let, me, let me start with you, Abel. Yeah. As I said earlier on, posting is not marketing. You can have a number of people liking your post, whatever you're posting, but mm. are you converting that to earning some money? Mm-hmm. So the thing here is, as much as you're posting, creating awareness of that product, you should be able to be, you should be in a position of converting uh, to give you a very good ROI return on investment. Mm-hmm. So when you post, first of all, there are a number of factors you keep into consideration. Number one, uh, how many people that content has reached. Number two is the engagement between your post and those who have viewed the post. Kuna wala wata view, na waende. Kuna wala wata view, and they, they, they comment. Yeah. Na kuna wala wata view, they comment. And if you are selling a product, they will also buy. So those are three different type of audiences. So the thing here is how to maximize on those such kind of people uh, to give you a good ROI. Mm-hmm. So that's why I said posting is not marketing. There are a number of factors you have to put into consideration though upate yo pesa kama unatafuta pesa if you after money you know there are those who just after posting mm-hmm. and there are those who after money so you have to if uh, you are after money you have to maximize on the audience <coughs> that you already have mm-hmm. uh, to give you a return on investment on investment yeah. yeah okay so it's actually important for for guys to look at on our facebook I'm analytics on my youtube analytics yes, yes. you know you, you should study the, those who want how your posts are performing so that you you know you know how to monetize it exactly yeah. okay yeah. let me let me ask you, you you look like you want to say something before i ask a question <laughs> <laughs> okay uh kidogo ni ndio kuna kitu inaitwa localization of content pia localization aha uh-huh. yeah you can post a, 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 a product or you can okay not wengi wa post my pictures also ndio na unapata most people who like that picture ni watu wako karibu nae na yeye so ndio now that is within your circle Mm-hmm. But if it's a product, you can you can uh, boost that product, sindio? Because digital marketing is all about money, sindio? Na kugain traction kwa either website or your platform or your mm-hmm. uh, or your social media. So there's something called boosting. That is to boost a product. Ni kufanya you can you uh, that traction. If it's for a product, ni kupata watu watanunua. Kana ni kugain followers pia so una boost that ni yeah. kupata followers yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. So let me let me ask. Um, I've almost lost that trail of thoughts. <laughs> there was something I, I wanted to ask. Uh, wh- when you talk about, let me just speak from wha- what you've said. Yeah. Um, you know, local. You've talked about localization of content. But if I want my content um, to reach a specific audience, mm-hmm. let's say I have a product and my target audience is just the youths. Stucky if it's, uh, you know, or I have a product and my target audience is just Kenyans. Or I have a product, my target audience, say at our Kenya, I don't want Africans, you know, to, I want the international audience mm-hmm. to see my product. How do you tailor, tailor that? Um, anyone can answer that. Okay, let mm-hmm. me answer that. Um, okay, have you ever, kwa browsers, indio? some browsers uh, ask for the, for your data, send you. Mm-hmm. Unapati na kuleza age, na kuleza gender, location yako, unona. Mm-hmm. Now, yu ita kusaidia kwa kufanya marketing yako ya product. Unaza, una, location, kani location kwa unataka kuboost product yako under Nairobi County, send you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll select Nairobi kwa, okay, let me go back to the surface media a bit. Kwa uh, the surface media, mm-hmm. you'll have uh, to select your, the location, your location preference of where you want your product to be advertised from. Mm-hmm. Nona. Kama ni Nairobi, uh, Nairobi, uh, emba, Nairobi Embakasi, uta select Nairobi na Embakasi, sindio? Mm-hmm. Kama ni Kajiado Rongai, uh, Kitengela, unona, you'll select there. Now, the audience yinye itakuwa Kitengela, itapata your advertisement. The audience itakuwa Embakasi, itapata your advertisement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So ni wendo unachagua specific, w- w- you know, you yeah. choose the, the area itself. The, yeah, the And area. Wha- why is this important? Let me ask you, Abel, why is it important to have a specific target audience when you have a product? Yeah, before I answer that question, just to add on what he has said, mm-hmm. uh, you ask the difference when you, okay, you're in Kenya, but you want your product to be advertised abroad. Mm-hmm. Uh, as he has said, kuna hiyo mambo ya segmentation ya age, gender, 
and also okay. your locality. Mm -hmm. And also besides that, uh, for example, in X, we have something called X spaces or Twitter spaces, formerly known. Uh, in Facebook, Instagram, we do have uh, live, 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 live streaming and also... Even uh, on LinkedIn, we have... Exactly. Yeah. And also we do have Reels and TikTok videos. Mm. Also, there are channels that can help you reach uh, an, uh, an audience that is abroad. Ah. And also, when it comes to locality, for example, you are, you are here in, uh, in Y254, and you want your product to reach maybe people in Kitale. Mm -hmm. So for the surface media, we have segmented each kind of locality. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're advertising your product to us or service, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a kind of uh, queue you will follow. So in one of those queues, uh, you'll, be to, you'll be asked, uh, where do you want your product advertised? Is it in Kitengala? Is it in Nairobi? Is it in Mombasa or Wajia? So you mm -hmm. have to select where you want your product to be. Okay. So that will help you meet uh, an audience, the target audience you want mm -hmm. through selecting the type of locality you want your product or service to be, to be. advertised on. And your other mm -hmm. question was? Um, you know, I, before I ask the other question, it, it also applies if I wanted to reach people in Canada, then you uh, from resurface media I can choose Canada. For As now, we are only based in Kenya, okay. yeah, but nice we country. have plans of going <laughs> abroad. But for all now, right. we are only based okay. in Kenya. All yeah. Right. So for all the 47 counties, uh, they have been incorporated in the platform. So for ease of access and convenience, in short. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other question, if I come to you, you want to add to that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you can use uh, popular hashtags. But of course, with the relevant nini, you know, to me there are some hashtags in a trend for with some peculiar reasons no na insensitive mm. yeah so if you if yeah, you use yeah, kamani yeah. mambo na technology hashtag mm -hmm. unachukua the trending uh, trending hashtag of it mhm mm unatumia kwa kwa your post so unapata uh, for example ukienda ukienda x no na mm. utumie the popular hashtag yenye kama ni under technology kama ni under digital marketing kama ni under uh, uh, media social media whatever Utapata people from abroad also can view that because it's still as we find you need to boosting if you are nini. Kamu kuchini ki pesa pia. So you, you can you can use uh, popular hashtags pia. Okay. Like kama sasa Moses Korea mwe ku trend leo. If I because I usually see that on X. Unao ki follow na follow trend. Yeah. And then you see someone posting oh uh, my cuckoo business, you know, kuna mm. nini ameka mm. hashtag Moses Square and you see, you will see the business. So that's what people actually usually do. Yeah. So for, for, for that kind of uh, situation, mm -hmm. yes, your product or service will trend, but for the wrong reason. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. When you use the hashtag Moses Korea, <laughs> it is the matters political, political, but you are after cosmet cosmetics, cosmetics. Uh. so it will be relevant to your ad. Mm -hmm. So yeah. your return on investment will be very low. Or even ata itakuwa kabisa. Okay. So you have to use the relevant hashtags. So it has to be relevant. Yeah, exactly. If it's relevant. something on technology, then I post my, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is, that is if you are after a return on investment. But, but if you are just after creating awareness, Visibility, you can use. Visibility, then you can use. Yeah, any. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. For All the right. purpose of trending. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I wanted to ask the important, the question that I'd ask, the importance of having a target audience. You know, some people, uh, you'd ask them, uh, who's, your, who's the target audience for your business? Mama, Kenya, what, anyone, you know. Mm. But why is it important, if you think it's important to have a target audience? A target audience is very important as it helps to strategize your business. You cannot just, uh, for example, your, your business mm. is more of selling sausages and you go to the the eastern side of Kenya mm -hmm. and you start marketing sausages, I mean, it will yes. be kind of irrelevant. So you have to yeah. understand your target audience. Mm -hmm. You have to know what their preferences, what they like, what they don't like, how they like uh, their stuff being done, mm -hmm. and how better you can advertise that product or service you want to sell. Mm -hmm. So you have to consider target audience. It's very important. It's very important. It's strategic. Yeah. In, okay. Yeah, yeah. In business. Now back to the hashtag. Mm -hmm. um, the I know I know I know of companies that do it. Maybe you also do it uh, to make the you know if I want to to trend today, if I want Y254 to trend, mm -hmm. the hashtag hashtag Y254 or hashtag Y in the morning, the one that we're using today, hashtag mm -hmm. Y in the morning for it to trend. I know people companies that can make that trend for a day. Mm -hmm. uh, is this something that you do? And does that really help for for me to trend? Uh, nini nini and then. D does it does it um, does it amount to more? Is it m can it be monetized or is it good with creating visibility uh, and whatnot? Kept 
I keep saying you can answer that. I don't think I have the capabilities. Maybe a bit. All right. Uh -huh. For creating visibility, yes, it works. You'll trend. People will be aware of what is happening, maybe mm -hmm. in your company or whatever kind of service or product you are advertising. Mm -hmm. But s stressing on ROI, uh -huh. if you are after conversion, uh, it may work, but sometimes it doesn't <coughs> work. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's the difference. Okay. Yeah. It may work, it might not it work. It so may it may it's it's a gamble. It's a gamble. You never know. It might yeah. favor you or not. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now um, to um, social media. Mm -hmm. There's something that you had mentioned when we were beginning. You need to know the kind of audience in Facebook, the kind of audience in Instagram, the kind of audience in TikTok, you, you, so that you tailor make yeah. it to suit them. Yeah. Right? So... What kind of, so for someone who's into create content creation and they don't understand the dynamics, maybe you could um, share some light into what kind of audience is in TikTok, what kind of audience in, in the different platforms that are there. Besides the audience, uh, it's just more about the company. For example, Meta, they have a lot of restrictions when it comes to the kind of content you're posting mm -hmm. uh, on their pages. For example, for Facebook, uh, the kind of content you'll post on, tweet, on X and that is owned by Elon Musk. For example, it could be a very sensitive issue, uh, but that sensitive issue, as much as you can post it on X, you cannot post it on uh, Facebook simply because uh -huh. it can be flagged off and your account can be terminated or suspended. Okay. So that uh, is one of the things that makes it difficult uh, when it comes to cre cre creating coaching because it has to be met the, meet the guidelines of that uh, particular company, for this case, Meta. Mm -hmm. Now, the audience in Facebook is kind of for more boomers. of the age, the senior citizens. The as much as the youth be mm. it's but kind of the yeah age. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But when you move to TikTok and Instagram is where the Gen Z have moved to because they find it quite, quite appealing. They mm. can make videos. They can create content in terms of articles or vlogs or blogs. Mm. It's much more easier and fun for them as compared to Facebook, which is kind of boring to the Gen Z, yeah. but very appealing to the older citizens, the senior citizens. Okay. So from that only, it can, you can tell that uh, con the, the content you're posting on Instagram may cannot be the same w with the one you're posting on. Facebook. On Facebook. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for one, it's about... Um, you know, knowing that Gen Z wako uku, mm. Facebook wako uku, and who's your target audience, mm. you know? yeah. And then there's um, the thing about the platform itself, the company. Mm. Uh, you know, what kind of content are you posting? Is mm. it uh, meta suitable or mm. is it X suitable? Yeah. For example, <laughs> you uh, Stephanie, you could be uh -huh. selling a 2024 G Wagon, mm. which could be around 35 million. So, no. would you prefer posting that G Wagon in Instagram or TikTok or? Facebook. Well, face Facebook, because, uh, you know. Exactly. The senior citizens yeah. are. <laughs> those with the old money are in Facebook as opposed to uh -huh. posting it. Not that it may not work in TikTok. It can, but it will be a struggle. Uh -huh. It will be a hurdle because the number of audience here, the very young people. But don't have to have a But a life, you need to have a So you don't have to have a You need that conversion. Uh -huh. So you go for Facebook. Let's, right, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's say uh, most ninins uh, are create to awareness. Unajua kama most of the Gen Z's and the Millennials unapata wako TikTok, wako na, Insta, wako na Instagram pia, mm -hmm. sindiyo? So wao ni kukreate awareness, but penye pesa hiko, so unajua ni, wa, ni, ni wazendi wako nae. Ni wazae wako. Yeah. <laughs> what about LinkedIn? How do you, because this is a, this is a new, fairly new, it has been there kutoka kitambo, mm -hmm. but now it's, um, it's the new thing, you know, mm. especially for profession. You know, it's a platform for professionals, yeah. and uh, people are people are making good. Um, I don't know if it's good money or is it for branding mostly. Mm. I don't know if you can monetize on LinkedIn, but I know it's it creates uh, it helps with the brand. Mm. So maybe you can tell us, shine some lights a bit on that. Yeah, mm. you can you can actually monetize uh, from LinkedIn, but. It's, it's very rare you hear somebody has monetized from LinkedIn because uh -huh. the kind of audience there, as you have said, there are more of corporate people, corporate yeah, yeah. very serious people. Mm. And uh, when you content create, you want to make it kind of humorous. But for them, <laughs> they don't, they're not after humor. Yeah. They're into business. If yep, you are such. selling this product, you come, come sell, straight. and you are done, <laughs> which is hard to convince somebody as opposed to s making, creating a content that is quite humorous mm. and appealing to the eyes. You know, 
for, for somebody to buy something, you have to soothe his or her heart. You have to mm -hmm. make something that is very appealing to the eye, that is eye catchy so that you can sell. For corporate people, they find it very hard. I don't know why, but that, that, is, just, that, that is it. But I don't know. Yeah. I think it's, it makes sense because even uh, for, for MCs, where cop, you know, MCing at a corporate event, you, yeah. you really have to try hard to make them laugh or something. Exactly. <laughs> They're just serious people. Yeah, because yeah. the kind of jokes you will make to them, <laughs> it's not the it's same. It's not the same, the kind of jokes you make. <laughs> they want intelligent jokes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so th that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let me ask you um, again, Kipto. Yeah. The different kind of, you know, how do you, you know, there's the aspect of I want to sell a product, so you buy from me. Uh, I'm getting money from that. Mm -hmm. But I'm um, a content creator. I want to make money out of YouTube. I want YouTube to pay me. I want Facebook to pay me. How do they pay? How do they? Do, do you, uh, are you able to speak on that? Okay. Payment. I guess it's just monetizing the content. Mm -hmm. how, after, you know. How, uh, what reach do you need to get to for, for them to start paying you? And uh, what are some of the qualifications that warrant that? And Facebook, does it, does it, because I know there's a question of uh, Facebook doesn't really pay um, Kenyan content creators. It pays in other countries, not so much in Africa. So I don't know if um, you're able to answer on that, either you or Abel. Yeah, as I said earlier on, uh, it mm -hmm. depends with what you're advertising. Uh, for Meta, they kind of have a lot of restrictions uh, on the product or, service, or product or service you are advertising on their mm -hmm. platforms. But for those, uh, for those <coughs> people whose products have been accepted on Facebook, you, yeah, they, are, they can monetize. They, are, they earn a lot of money through conversions because they have a wider audience. And also we have something called uh, Google Ads where they can boost their mm -hmm. product or service to reach a wider audience. So when they reach a wider audience, uh, it results mm -hmm. to you converting that audience to money. Uh -huh. So for Facebook, uh, it does work. Also for YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. depending on the number of subscri subscribers and also the, the watch time of people watching your content and, the no and, and, and how, of how often you post your content. You can also, yeah, you can also earn some money. Also, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, some platforms also want authentic uh, content because you find that some people nowadays with the emergence of AI, mm -hmm. most of the people create content using AI. Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, most uh, platforms uh, in a, in a finya uh, monetization of your content because uh, they, they get to know that this is AI generated content and this is an authentic content also. Okay. So the, do they have a problem? So you're saying they have a problem with AI generated content? Not that they have a problem. The uh -huh. thing is appreciating uh, originality. Authenticity. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. For you, Stephanie, uh, you have written a blog about, uh, for example, any kind of cosmetic uh, mm -hmm. you like. But for me, I've used AI to create that content. Mm -hmm. Now it will be very unfair for me to have a wider audience my content to reach a number of people and mine is AI content creators uh, AI centered and yours is kind of original and authentic so for me when I to me AI my content it a thing you work logo it's a rich a number of people but for yours uh, it will reach it a will wider it. audience exactly. I think that's fair enough so yeah. as much as AI mm. has its advantages it also has some disadvantages, disadvantages. Yeah. exactly okay so at least it's promoting uh, it's it's help it, it's helping promote uh, you know, authenticity to see potenza because when I shut GPT, we can get everything that we want, anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. you can imagine now KBC and Y254 decides everything is AI. AI, so I mean what happens to us? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, let me ask you, Kipto, uh -huh. what is the importance, now that we're talking about this, the importance of um, having quality um, products or quality content as opposed to quantity because I know there's also the aspect of quantity in terms of you need to post regularly and uh, there's consistency but um, not just posting but getting a return on investment say uh -huh. that because you you justify that but what's the importance of quality over quantity if there is you know you can have a lot of uh, content mm -hmm. but some of them may lose meaning but you, may, you might have just one content in your, in your you just created and uh, you feel that there is that passion in your 
I'm 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 that content or I've I'm create that content. So some you might find that some people, uh, some contents of some people, I can content more but I'm a I'm a boom all of a sudden mm. because it's, it's something, something that good. something good yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Just to add on that, remember earlier when you asked me what is the importance of a target audience. Mm -hmm. A target audience is very important as it helps to strategize uh, your marketing strategies. So for distinguishing between uh, quality and quantity, mm -hmm. for LinkedIn and corporate guys, of course they're after quality, uh -huh. not quantity, they're after mm -hmm. quality. But for the other kind of audience, they're after quantity it's because the more you post the more you engage them mm -hmm. the more uh, the higher your return on investments because uh -huh. if you for them those who are not in the corporate side for them if you only post once and disappear because you are after quality out of pata pesa so you have to balance have a balance of uh -huh. that's where the target audience Mind tips in. Comes yeah. in exactly so you have to gauge your audience you know are they after quality or after quantity are they after quantity or after quality mm -hmm. yeah so you have to be very subjective and Mm -hmm. into details okay oh, yeah. you come on a youtube and you're a content creator and you're dealing with teenagers and you're talking about relationship in exactly. and out of the yeah. cloud you know you yeah. have them throughout yeah. as long yeah. as you've, you've for, kept for example them for example when you're vlogging about cars mm. uh, here in kenya we are now talking about cars manufactured as late from 2017 to 2018 mm. but abroad they're talking about cars uh, currently 2024 uh -huh. so if you are in kenya and you are still talking about 2017 to 2018 and you lose a, a number of audience, ah. a number of people watching your content. But if you're talking about 2023, 2024, yeah, you're keeping people up to date. People want to be, want real-time interaction. Real -time. That's uh -huh. why we are all moving to technology, we are moving to AI, we are embracing digital marketing and everything to do with social media. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. Wonderful. And uh, there's so much, but as we come to a close on this particular conversation, let me ask, what are some of the emerging trends that you see shaping the future of digital and social media marketing? Uh, let me start with you, Kipto. First of all, there's this thing called live streaming platforms such as TikTok, uh, mm. Facebook that has live, Facebook Live, Instagram Live. You find that most people sell their content online uh, mm -hmm. using the live live nini. Sometimes I scroll on TikTok and I find somebody selling their mutumba online. Live, yeah. Yeah, selling their and you find that many people are viewing that uh, are are or um they are on that live video and they buy and they buy. Yeah. So you can use that live platform that that uh, live video platform to sell your products. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay, interesting. What about yeah. you about? And also the X spaces. Uh, it's something that is very underrated, but it is very informative. People get get to gain a lot of information about a certain product or a service. From there, they are, they can be channeled to buy a certain product or service easily, mm -hmm. as opposed to just posting only. Because I said posting is not marketing. So through mm. those X spaces, people gain a lot of knowledge. They share. We are in Nuai, Akaumia, we are in Nuai, Akafaidika. So we are in Nuai. You can decide maybe to go for this product or mm -hmm. go to the other one. So yeah. I can say live streaming, the, the X spaces, the IG, uh, Reels, okay. TikTok videos. They yeah. are they are the kind of emerging trends that people have to are shaping the, exactly. the, digital, the digital space. space yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. When you talk you've just mentioned X spaces and I know there's also the LinkedIn live and all that. Mm. How do you get to you know, the right people that you want in that space? Mm. Is it, uh, or do you just market on your social media platform? Is that enough to get the people that you want or is there something that you can do extra? Of course, uh, when you are venturing into a certain kind of business, there are people who are already there. Mm -hmm. So if you want something to be quite easy to work, to easily work out for you, you can at least try to engage with them. Mm -hmm. uh, they show you the ways how they climbed up to where they are. Mm -hmm. It will be much easier instead of uh, trying to go the hard way. I mean, shortcuts are bad, but sometimes they are beneficial. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So but get someone who's already yeah. exactly. yeah. in that, yeah. that space. Ah. But it also depends with your target audience. I mean, if your target audience is people between the age of uh, 18 to 24, you'll find that most of the people are online. Mm -hmm. So getting 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 to reach them is not hard okay yeah okay so it depends that's constant everywhere yeah you target audience yeah all right thank you so much gentlemen uh what is it that you are you for you as a company that you're looking to getting into or growing into uh yeah what what is it that we should expect from you Abel? 
Yeah, one thing uh, I love about Shiftech Africa is that beside being a solution-based company, mm -hmm. uh, it is creating employment for a number of youth. As much as Vijana uh, Wengi, they are still unemployed, they are looking for jobs left, right and centre, here to surface media, uh, we can incorporate as many of them, thousands, hundreds, to come mm -hmm. and help us share the links through sharing the links of uh, different businesses. Uh, they also earn a fortune. It was idea was Kuma Siku, okay. and then the other end, Pia Munyayo product or service, Pia Takwa MFID. So that is one thing I like about Shift Tech Africa. And number two, we are revolutionizing mm -hmm. the digital space here in Kenya. Uh, I know a number of people are uh, departing from traditional media, so they are looking to uh, what next if traditional media is not working mm. that 200%. We so, fall back, uh. what can we opt for? So, mm. that's where resurface media can come in uh, to satisfy or rather to tailor the needs and meet the preferences of different audiences uh, in the 47 counties we have here in Kenya. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. okay, wonderful. Uh, where can people get you on social media, Kipto? And in case you have anything else that you want to add as we close. Okay, uh, my social media handles, uh, IG is uh, at Kipto, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook bits on Kipto, LinkedIn the same bits on Kipto, and also the handles of Shift Tech Africa is Shift Tech Africa across all across all platforms. platforms. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Shift Tech Africa. Now that what's your show, social media handle? Uh, across all platforms at Abel Omasete. Uh -huh. And also for Shift Tech across all platforms, Shift Tech Africa. Shift Tech Africa. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Thank yeah. you very yeah. much for for the amazing insights into yeah. the digital space. The pleasure is ours. We have taken so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I yeah. hope you've taken as much as I have from this particular conversation, and you're ready to you know take your business or your uh, brand to the next level for that matter. This has been a conversation on market digital and social media marketing. And I've had a team from Shift Tech Africa. My name is Stephanie Atta, And we're going to take a short break. And that brand circle will be coming up next with yet another amazing conversation. So stick with us. <laughs>